Hi everybody, welcome to another Creo tutorial. Today's tutorial is on how to easily build a bridge and carry out simulation. And here's a mock-up model of my design here. And you can go and simulate, load in the parameters and carry out the results. You can see the result, look at the stress and displacement. Um, I'll talk about this more later. But uh, let's, let's sh show you how to easily build a bridge model. So I'll create a new part file. And turn this off to select your own units. I'll select the millimeters. Okay, so basically go to sketch and draw your bridge. You simply just need to draw the skeleton. When you draw the first line, make sure it's to the right size. This is helpful to set your bridge to the right size. Put the center line. Okay, so I'll make this gap to be about 60, 60 mil. And should I probably don't want to point up too high. And draw a support member at the center lines. And I want to select the center point here. What I can do is just delete these ones and put it draw a new line press middle button to fit complete reset the tool apply it to middle segments and if that's good I'll delete this bottom line and just mirror everything and that should be done Click OK and we have our sketch. All right. To quickly really create your bridge model, simply just use the sweep. Select the the sketch line. Uh, one important thing is when you highlight them, it will select a whole chain. To select the particular line, you just tap right click to query select and go through select different things. So I want to select that segment only. And I can go ahead and create the section for the sweep. I'll use the center rectangle and make the two sides equal and click the arrow. And I've set this 10 mils cross section. All right, what's really handy is you can copy and paste. You simply just select this feature, click copy, paste, Select the segment and click OK to paste your segment. Remember to tap right click to select the right se seg um, segment. So press Ctrl V and we can just paste this in. Pretty, pretty simple. Um, just yeah. So paste. Okay, middle click to finish, middle click, control V, select the line, middle click, control V, query select, middle click, middle click to finish, and try that one again so control paste select that segment only click that free time make sure it's selecting that and just be aware we can drag these square points I'll drag this one up so it's 
closing the crack and I, I left the, these two lines at the end this is where the load is gonna be and it's um, if you create that at the end we can select this surface area only so we can apply the load but uh, let's finish that all right I'm just gonna fix two things on the bottom right here there's a gap there we can fix that by go edit definition and drag the square you can drag the square point to move it and also enter the extend value so make that five to cover the gap let's do that again over here right click edit definition put five at that arrow here and we have our model there you go so copy and paste it's really handy and we can go to do the simulation now so get an application simulate um, the full version of simulate you gotta pay for that but um, there's a light version and with the light version it, you can't do these things but there's a guide that lets you quickly uh, assign parameters we can give it a material click assign click more we've got wood material here but it doesn't seem to work so I'll just click acrylic add it and convert the units click OK so that's a quick all right constraints constraints is how your model is held down all right so we have a model here of constraint turn on constraint and this one's mainly useful click on that select the surface you can select edges also points but uh, we'll click fix you can set it to fix or move freely in the x y and z so keep all fix on that side but on the right side i'll make a bit different on the right side i'll let it move free in the x and y uh, if you turn on coordinate system you can see y is pointing up Okay, so we'll fix on the y direction and that's good. Click OK. I'll apply the load. Load is basically the force. Um, apply the force and basically select your surfaces. And here, you basically enter the values for the force. Uh, you can switch it to Newton. So I'm going to use Newtons and I'll apply it a about uh, 20 kilo. 20 kilos times gravity is a Newton, so um, 20 times 10 is 200. You can click preview to see that it's pointing down. Click OK and analysis, run the analysis. It'll take a few seconds to analyze that. And then we can check the results. And here you go, this is the result. This one is just a simple graph representation of how it moves. It's not a exact thing. But what's handy is that you can see how it uh, how it's performing. Um, one point of thing is it's uh, st stress is measured in kilopascal pascals what you can do is change the unit to fix that up so I'll just go out my model and to change your units just go prepare model properties you can change your unit here I want to set it to Newton so I'll go set click OK to convert and go back to my simulation and just make sure to check the load should be Newton. Yep, it's Newton. Carry out your analysis again. And check your results. Now it's in megapascals. So with that done, you get your measurements. If you go on the internet, look for mechanical stress properties of material. 
and you can find ultimate stress so you see that glass steel has about 340 to 1900 pine material is 50 to 100 that's the ultimate stress so you want to keep the stress well below that and so we can look at our model and you can see that let's have a look at where the blue lines are I'll go full screen and you can see that blue areas are over here and it's getting a stress of about four four to eight so it's not bad this, this model is not bad to withstand 20 kilos this map is the displacement map will tell you how much movement it's gonna be having so it's in millimeters how many millimeters at what point has the most movement and this one's interesting you can see the direction of stress and the big arrows are the major stresses at the higher values but uh, what you can do you can clean your model and show maximum model stress at this point there's a lot of stress here uh, you can show or hide views here. You might want to hide w windows one and three. Uh, you can e edit the the definition of the view. In here, you can set different types of measurement. I'll switch to stress. Click OK, and you can see that stressing over here. What you can do is you can go to capping capping of surface below switch it to ISO surface click apply now when you click dynamic when we drag up and down we can see where the initial um, stress points are so the first and second is stress points so you can see the stress points are here and here and we can go back and modify our model to fix that up so that, that's a handy way to work. modify your model uh, middle click to finish click OK show the other two views but there you go that's that's a very some useful techniques to quickly model your bridge and carry out simulations that's all for today guys, see ya later.